Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ralitza and this is Readings with Rally. Hello, hello, hello. In today's reading, we're going to be taking a look at what is going on with this connection. Um, I'm really excited about this reading because I feel like there's going to be some truth revealed. I was able to get a few new decks here from my friend Joey at The Spiritual Gangster. So I'm really excited to incorporate these in today's video. One of the things I will say is that this reading is not for the weak of heart, okay? I mean that with a lot of love, kindness, and respect for you guys. But please, if you are feeling overly anxious, if you're feeling a little bit scared, if you don't even want to kind of know what's happening here, this may not be the reading for you, and that's totally okay. Um, there will be a trigger warning here. Because I feel like one of the things that is coming forth, especially as the year rounds up, is a lot more clarity, accuracy, and truth, um, especially surrounding some of these connections that have not been, been progressing. So please just keep that in mind, okay? I just wanted to start off with that caveat. There will be three pals to choose from today. Pal number one, we have the Russian dolls. Pal number two, we have the Dutch clogs. And pile number three, we have the cra crab. <laughs> so if you did need some more time, you can always go ahead and pause the video here. I'm going to go ahead and start with pile number one. Hello, pile number one. How are you? If you chose the Russian doll, then this is your reading. Welcome. I hope you're doing well. I'm just going to go ahead here and tap into your energy so that I'm best able to channel. So spirit, can you please help me to connect to the energy of pile number one who chose the Russian dolls? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for Paul 1 so that they can have the best possible reading. As always, we wanted to say a big thank you to you for your support, for your clarity, and for your accuracy. Thank you for everything you do. Thank you for everything you continue to do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, first word I'm hearing is domination. So I definitely feel like this person has a very, like, I guess, aggressive personality, or they like to be on top of things. I That was followed by the word hurt. So I feel like this person may be harboring some kind of hurt or resentment towards you still. So please just keep that in mind as well. This person feels very stubborn. Um, so that's a, another thing I could feel in this person's energy. What is going on, please, in this connection? There's been a lot of stuff here that you guys have said to each other, a lot of regrets. What is going on in this person's energy? action of wands. Now, this is the knight of wands energy, my classic F boy, F girl type of energy. This person may have had a lot of other people um, going on around them. I feel like they are someone who pretends like they're more maybe seriously minded than they actually are, but then they have a tendency to think very highly of themselves. They can be very egotistical and self-driven. A positive thing, though, I am feeling is that this person is very physically attracted to you. So they find you very, very physical, um, very attractive, very voluptuous, or just sexy, regardless of whatever gender you identify with. Um, they just like the way you look, the Empress. For those of you who identify with as Divine Feminines or identify with having feminine energy, one of the things I really want you to be aware of is that this person seems to be very attracted to that. They like to, like, pull that energy away from you if that makes any sense at all this person they like to kind of like drain they're a little bit of a drain on you and i would like you to be aware of this so that you can kind of protect yourself accordingly honestly and the thing i am feeling about this person's energy is that they see you as somebody who has a lot to offer and sometimes they don't feel like they can really stack up so that could be creating some insecurity tell me more strength for signs, we have Leo Aries Sagittarius, Leo energy coming through strong, Libra Taurus. And now we have the embodiment of cups, which is the king of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Here's the thing. There's a lot of people here. I'm getting at least three different energies. So there could be a third party situation here. Now, this doesn't always have to be a person. I just have to say that this can be like maybe this person is putting work above you. Maybe they have someone from the past that they're not talking to, but they still haven't let go of doesn't matter. All of these things end up creating energetic blockages. So one thing I will say is that there seems to be like two sides to this person. One side of this person is ready, willing, open to love. The other side of this person feels very stubborn and likes to hide their feelings a lot. I don't think that this person ever actually let you know the full extent of their emotions for you. 
what's going on in this connection? This one wants to come out here. I want it to come with you. Okay, so you could have gone somewhere. This person wanted to accompany you. This person feels like your whole life path has been very outside of the ordinary. And they really um, like that about you. They feel like you're very unique. You have a very unique life and you have a lot of like very exciting things happening in your life. This person wants to be a part of that. They feel envious when they feel like you're getting um, a lot of shit accomplished and they're not really doing very much of their, of their own accord, unfortunately. I don't understand you anymore. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, this makes me laugh. You'll never find someone better than me. Man, that always makes me laugh when people say that. That's like such a dumb thing to say. And we also have, are you really leaving? So I feel for many of you, you've already walked away from this person. One thing I will say is that you guys have definitely gone through a level up. Um, you've you've changed is what I'm hearing. And I don't actually see that as a negative thing, although I feel like this person definitely sees it as a negative thing. They're not really able to understand why you might have transformed with time, why you're looking at things in a different perspective. I think that this person really sees you as someone that they want to sort of like keep under lock and key. And when you shine your light, this person really does not like it. So you've really transformed. You've changed a lot. And this person feels kind of like envious, I guess, or overly curious about where you're going next. What else? What else do we need to know regarding Pile One's connection? We have certain... Your person has no doubts or confusion in their mind about you in this connection. They know how they feel and they're ready to act on it. They know they want, want, they know who they want and that's you. Or is it that you are the one who knows what they want? Honestly, I feel like this is more your energy than this person's energy. I kind of feel like this person strung you along for quite some time and you guys could have decided to move your energy into a whole different um, space. This person feels like they cannot handle the fact that you have this certainty, this like inner self-worth. This person does not like that one bit. They feel stressed out. This person feels very stressed out. What else? I do feel like this person wants to be your match again. Something I'm hearing. Control. You've met someone who has to have their way. This person is very hard to please and will point out everything you need to change about yourself. Always maintain your sense of self and don't change for anyone. One thing I'll say about this person's energy is they seem to be quite critical of you. I feel like this person could be someone who is bothering you a little bit because they always are critical of you, critical of the way that you um, hold yourself, critical of the, the energy that you embody. And this is something that is really making you feel very stuck around this person. So you guys could have really taken a lot of initiative to free yourself from this individual. And now this person is feeling very, very en envious or they want to have like energy. They want to sort of be in control of you. Bam, third party. I knew I was picking this up. This person is already involved with someone else or have met someone new. They have changed the dynamic of this connection by adding in another person. Either you, you are the main person or side piece juggling. <sighs> I mean, I was picking that up already because I was getting a lot of different energies when I was tapping in. Um, it doesn't mean that this is any less hurtful or painful, though. I will admit that. I know you guys have been going through a lot. Um, the heartbroken card just flew out of the deck, but I'm not going to use it as my fourth card. I think that this person, you know, has created a lot of pain for you and they do have a lot of regret over that. But they have might have a third party or this could be you. I think this person is really lacking in respect. What else? We have separation. You and your person will become separated and take a break from each other. This break may be temporary or permanent. Time apart is on the horizon and has already been initiated. Honestly, for those of you who are feeling like just low or sad about this person, um, I will have you know that this person seems like they have a lot of growing up to do. Excuse the fall. That's interesting. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this person could feel like everything that is around them is kind of falling apart and that is making them feel very, very anxious, very anxious. Um, so this person, they don't really seem to have like a good head on their shoulders anymore. I would say that if you guys want this connection to work, you're going to need to give it some time because this person is coming up in a very immature energy. 
What else, please, for pile one and their person? What's going on with this connection? What's going on with this connection? We have temptation. A tempting offer that looks like a dream come true. A tempting and alluring. As tempting and alluring as this offer is, it's not good for you. This offer will move you away from healthy love. For some of you, this person unfortunately let a third party interfere with this connection. They could have been tempted elsewhere. And this has led to the separation between you and them. I also feel like this person has like a really low ability to say no to things. Like they really value themselves more than anything else. And they're not really considering your needs or your like desires here in this connection. What else? I think at some point, like you guys could have been working towards the same goals, but I really don't feel that's the case anymore. We have ghosting. Now you see them, now you don't. They are a regular magician with the superb skill of disappearing without a trace or cause in limbo and confusion. This person is not consistent with you, you guys. You have to be aware of that. They don't know what they're doing. This person has no idea. They don't know what they want. They don't know what they're doing. And because of that, they're creating a lot of confusion for you. So please be mindful of that. You, you deserve someone who can show up for you. We also have strings attached. They promise you the world and they never, wait, they will promise you the world and deliver. What they won't tell you is that these things, material or emotional, will come with a price. Read the fine print. One thing I don't like about this person's energy as well is that I feel like whenever they give you something, they always expect like accolades. This person wants you to like pat them on the back and like really just like be like, oh, you're the best. Thank you so much. Like this person, they don't really see, they see this connection as very transactional, pile one. And I worry about this from your perspective because I feel like you guys have a lot more depth to you than this person does. So please be careful and just keep in mind if they're giving you something, they're likely going to expect something back. We have perspective. Stepping back and removing your emotions from a situation to get a different view of things. Seeing things from another person's point of view. Taking an account of things. One thing that I would suggest here and your advice from me regarding the situation would be to really pull your energy back and try to get a different perspective on this person. I feel like this person is kind of troublesome. I'm not going to hold your hands or mince words. I feel like they also don't know what they want and there's a potential for a third party here. So please just make sure that as you proceed here, you are protecting your heart and protecting your spirit. Okay. You really do deserve that. So yes, pile one, that's what I have. I told you that there was going to be a trigger warning. But I feel like this person, they have a lot of stuff that they're still figuring out. And I don't think it's healthy for you. And I just feel like this person also knows that you're worth a lot more than what they're kind of like willing to put into this connection. So I wanted to say, please don't take this person's BSing um, seriously or don't like let this hurt the way you see yourself because you guys are beautiful and worthy of love. Hello, pal two. How are you? If you chose the shoes, this is your reading. Welcome. I hope you're doing well and you're having a fantastic day. I'm just going to go ahead here and tap right into your energy so that I'm best able to channel. So spirit, can you please help me to connect to the energy here? A pile number two who chose the clocks. Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for pal two so that they can have the best possible reading. Thank you for everything you do. Thank you for everything you continue to do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm hearing the <laughs> I'm hearing the word sandwich. So I hope that this person is not like make me a sandwich or something. Like I don't know why that's coming through so strongly, but it is. I think you and this person really are like, or at some point you were like an item, is what I'm hearing, because I'm hearing the word item. One thing I will say about this person is they can be very sh stuck on their routine. Like this person does not like disruptions to their routine. That's something that really bothers them. So that could be something you need to be aware of. Tell me about pile two and their connection. What's going on? Embodiment of Wands, you could be talking about a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This person could be a creative. You guys could be the creative. Death, rebirth. The devil in reverse. Alrighty. Can I have one more? One more, please. Oh my gosh, we have higher self in reverse. Okay, this is messy. So you could be talking about a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We also have Scorpio and Capricorn energy up on the table. This person has a lot of issues. 
I feel like this person has been going through, you know, the process of releasing a lot of issues here, a lot of their past addictions, um, confusion. This person has really led a very confusing life and they're, they're not really very direct with um, anybody about what's been going on internally. I think this person feels like you have a lot of value and I think that they see you as someone who's very, very special, very beautiful, very put together. This person um, has a lot of like sexual urges towards you, but they may also have addictions around sex or just weird issues here around sex, lust um, and intimacy as well. My biggest concern here is that with the higher self in reverse, I don't really feel like this person knows what, what's up. Like they feel very blocked when it comes to being able to manifest or being able to see truth, the truth clearly. Like they don't really know what's going on here. They feel very, very in their own head. This person may suffer from anxiety. I'm also seeing a cemetery here. So this person could have recently gone through a loss. And again, we do have death here. So maybe there's like a physical loss of like an actual person, an animal. What else, please? Pile number two, what's going on in their connection? What is this person? What's this person's deal? I'm hiding my emotions. Yeah, I feel like this person is definitely hiding their emotions. But the other thing that's coming through is this person doesn't even know what the heck is going on with themselves because we have the higher self in reverse. Tell me, how can you know what is going on within your emotional body if you don't even know like what is like what's happening, right? This person needs to spend some time getting back into their own energy field. Um, I don't feel like this is necessarily a bad person. I'm not really getting that, but I feel, feel like this person has a lot of underlying issues that they've not worked on, and this could be creating problems in your connection. We have past people are silently competing against you. So another thing I will say here is that this person seems to have a lot of people from the past that are still hanging around this person's energy field. This could be something that's really annoying you. Um, you could feel like you're always competing with the ghost of somebody. For some of you, maybe this person is widowed um, and you could just be feeling like they haven't moved on. Totally, totally feasible, by the way. Um, but more than anything, I think this person is not really aware of how much they're still attached to the past. What else? I wanted to come with you in reverse. So yeah, this person, they've never told you their feelings. Like you never knew what they felt. I feel like this person really just hid a lot um, from you. And so I think you would be surprised. You're pure magic. I will say, pal, to one of the reasons why this person feels so attracted to you is because they see you as somebody that has a lot of spiritual support and you feel very connected to spirit, whereas this person is not. Um, we have, please don't date anyone on the bottom of the deck. So this person is desperate for a return. They definitely want to come back in. They want to fix things. This person feels like really stuck. What's going on here? What's going on in this connection spirit? We have risk, stepping out of your comfort zone to get something accomplished, going for what you want, feeling the fear and doing it anyways, taking a chance. Remember when I said the word routine here, I feel like something about this person is that they don't really like risk. And with you, they could feel like there's something risky. They can't really put their, their um, hands on you, not their hands on you. They can't really put their fingers on you. Like you're very unique um, and they feel a little bit scared when they're around you, I feel. What else? We have ringleader, a person who has influence, dominance, or control over a group. They want to coerce you into engaging in activities that go against your highest good cult vibes. <laughs> For some of you, this person could literally have come from a very religious or cult-like environment. For others of you, I will say that this person may be listening to other people when it comes to this connection. This could be something that's really irritating to you. You could feel like this person has like nothing of their own value to say here. This person may always be running like their conversations that they have with you with somebody else. And this would be very irritating for you to know. We have breadcrumbing, leading someone on by giving them a tiny morsel of interest, a message or call here and there, but nothing solid to move the connection forward, playing games. <sighs> Look, for many of you, this person, they don't know what they want. Bottom of the deck, we have never satisfied. So this person has a real lack of like integrity. Um, they don't know what they want. They just like to sort of like keep you hanging because they they like they they understand your value they really do but they feel like they don't really want to like give to you as much as you want to give to them what else this person has a lot of like different people that look up to them we have reunion oops you are you you are reunited with the past love 
love never really dies. You may be reunited with someone from your past or someone you've had a past life connection with. Use your intuition to determine whether you should press rewind or stop. Did we not have the past card here? We did, right? Yeah. Okay. This person's got an obsession here with the past. They need to let go of something or someone. This is really holding them back. This is holding you back. For some of you, this person's still in love with someone from like high school. This person may be hung up or have sexual cords as well that could be holding them back. They need to clear this person out um, because this is definitely holding them back. What else? Slipping. You or your person are fearing the other person is slipping away from you. There has been a break in this connection. This can turn into a missed opportunity. One thing I will say here is I do feel like you are maybe sensing that there has been some kind of like a, a break in this connection. You're not wrong about that. I will say I feel like this person has a lot to still accomplish. I feel like this person, um, it's like they need to let go as well of these past people because it does really turn into quite a slippery slope. This person wishes that they could make amends. They want to turn the clock back, but they don't know how. What else here? Tell me more. Thank you. Tell me more. Thank you. You have stalker. Someone has been secretly keeping tabs on you. They have a secret crush and are eager in finding out more about you. Their curiosity for you is increasing, spying on you. Oops. No, come here. Thank you. So one of the things I will say is that this person may be very, very interested in keeping a close eye on you, but they could really like not know, not like want you to be aware of that. They could be trying to keep this from you. So honestly, this person feels like they have quite a lot of work to do around feeling more secure in their own energy, as well as, um, you know, really communicating with you about what they want. They also obviously have something from the past that they need to clear. That is additionally holding them, them back, holding things back here. So yeah, I feel like you guys have to be careful with this individual, especially because they still seem to be so focused on, you know, someone from the past. That's really quite frustrating. And you guys do not deserve that. I also feel like this person has to get their head out of their ass when it comes to, you know, breaking free of their routine. Like there's something here about this person being very obsessed over like having things be done like exactly the right way. Like they're very, I don't know, there's something that's very like old school about this person, but they're actually damaging themselves by doing this. All right. Hello, Pile 3. How are you? If you chose the crab, then this is your reading. Welcome. I hope you're doing well and you're having a fantastic day. Just going to go ahead here and tap right into your energy before I begin. So, Spirit, can you please help me to connect to the energy of Pile number 3 who chose the crab? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for the crab group so that they can have the best possible reading. We'd like to say thank you for everything that you've done. Please continue to keep everybody watching safe, protected, and guided throughout this day and throughout all of the days of their life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, um, I'm hearing the word results. So this person could be very, very results oriented. They like things to be done a particular way. I will say that this seems like a person that's made a big impact on you or on a lot of other people. Like they are a very impactful person. This person really likes your back. I don't know why that's coming through. This person may also have issues with their spine. Um, for some of you, you've met this person in college. This person could be very trendy or they could like the way that you dress. They like the way you put yourself together. Pile three, please let me tap into this connection. What's going on with this person? What is going on in this connection? Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Womp womp. Nine of Wands. Okay. The pool and the inspiration of cups so for signs here we have the the well, i was gonna say the page of cups duh we have cancer scorpio pisces aries okay this person is busy this person has a lot of shit on their plate and i feel like that's taking away from their ability to give to this connection this person may have a lot of work right now that they're going through um they may also just be struggling a little bit financially i don't know if this person has really been um, able to communicate that 
with you, but that's definitely a problem here. This person feels like they don't have enough financial resources um, to really give something to you. They do want to give something to you. I feel that. Like they do see you as somebody that they could give to, but I feel like they're very, very occupied with work right now. So just keep that in mind. If this person did feel a little bit more secure, I'm pretty sure that they would be really open to just like diving forward with you. This person really sees you as somebody that has a lot of worth and they do want to like match your vibe but this person they have a lot of work that they need to do especially around the way that they're feeling what else tell me what else how three you speak up now I feel like this person's really curious to know what you think about them they could feel like you're kind of keeping stuff uh, a little bit private like they're not sure if you like them in the same way that they like you they find you a bit difficult to read I do think this person, though, is very curious about what you would say about things. They want to know. Like, this person is very curious about you. What else? They couldn't choose you because God chose you first. Ooh, I love that. This person sees you as the chosen one. I mean, I don't mean to sound so, like, crazy. But I really feel like you guys are very highly spiritually advanced or you work very closely with spirit. That means that not everybody can just come correct or that people can't just come up to you. Like they often have to go through, you know, a lot of like shifts internally so that they can match your vibration. This person sees you as very highly aligned and I feel like they don't feel like they are very highly aligned, which makes them feel stressed out or panicked that they cannot match your vibration. Why are you single? <laughs> This person's really curious because they find you such a catch. And we have, are you bored with me? I will also say this person may feel a little bit insecure about themselves. Like they could be feeling like they don't have enough to offer you. That could be something that's really bothering this person. They don't want you to be bored with them. That would really, really bother them. But I feel like this person knows that you have a lot of value and they don't really feel like they have enough to offer you. This makes them feel quite stressed. What else, please? What else? Tell me about pile freeze person. We have forced. Life events are challenging to wait. <laughs> Life events are challenging you both to grow. Things happen that force the two of you to look at the situation differently. You may be called to make an important decision with this connection. I'm telling you that this person has a lot of shit on their plate, especially when it comes to work, finances, or even their health. I feel like you guys could also be going through that. So there could be some sense of like, um, what is this word? Like mirroring going on. Like you guys could be having very similar things, very similar connections, whether or not you're aware of that. This person and you, you both feel to be very, um, it's like you're going through a, a lot. You could be also very busy. So this person could feel like, well, this person, pile three, it doesn't have time to really give to me because they're obviously going through a lot and I should figure out my own shit in the meantime. So that's really what this person is coming from. What else? We have fantasy. Someone has been fantasizing about you. They can't get you off of their mind. They continuously think about you and frequently daydream about romantic moments with you. Yeah, this person is very turned on when they think about you. Um, I do feel for some of you, this person may touch themselves when it comes to thoughts of you, especially late at night. This person has a lot of frustration. And so I do feel they're highly sexual or they like to like channel their energy through sex. I also want you to know here that this person, they are seeing you as somebody who is like their dream partner. So they're definitely putting you a bit on a pedestal. Now, this is fantastic, but a big problem here is I feel like this person, they also need to step up and actually be able to like offer you something here. We have speak. It's funny, we have speak coming through twice, so I do feel you guys are going to have a conversation. The situation requires you to stand up for yourself and speak your mind, be clear and honest in your communication and your needs. If you're not comfortable with something, speak up, talk. So this person is really curious about your intentions. They want to know about you. They're very open to you. This is someone who like doesn't mind, um, you know, listening to you talk. In fact, they might really like to hear you talk. So yeah, I feel like this person, they know that there needs to be further conversations. What else? What else do we need to know about Pile Three's connection with this person? We have umbrella shelter from the storm your safety net they may not want to step outside of their comfort zone you may not want to take a chance or risk out of fear 
this person is scared. I feel like they feel, they see you as someone who's like really fantastic. This person has a lot of respect for you, but they're a little bit scared about stepping outside of their comfort zone. This person feels panicked when they think about that. They feel panicked when it comes to imagining like messing things up further. This person does not want to mess up the connection with you. They are scared you might reject them. I think this person has a lot of work to do on their inner self-worth. We have hidden feelings. This person is definitely hiding. Did we not get that? Are you bored with me? Keeping feelings under the surface and not sharing them. They're choosing to hide their true feelings from you at this time. Not feeling comfortable with confessing. Again, speak, speak, speak up is what I'm hearing. This person is scared. They don't want to talk. They feel like this is risky. They feel they don't have much to offer. If you guys want this connection to work out, it's going to need to take some time. So just keep that in mind, okay? I feel though I want to say that this person has a lot of strong feelings for you, regardless of if they're able to communicate them or not. It doesn't matter. It doesn't take away from the feelings. What else here? Tell me about Pile Three's connection with this person. Tell me about Pile Three's connection with this person. We have compromise. Letting go of ego and being fair, finding common ground between two people, making sure that everyone is happy, feels heard, and feels their, their needs matter. I think this person really wants to see how the two of you can kind of grow this connection. They're very, very open to that. This person has a lot of emotions for you. And I think that they really want to talk about like what, how the two of you could compromise or come together in a stronger and more productive way. This person, they feel like you're fantastic. I think that you're, if you guys really want this connection to work with this person, you're going to need to give them time because this is definitely someone who has a lot on their plate and they're still really working on themselves. So just keep that in mind as well. That doesn't make this person a bad person or anything like this. It just means that they have some shit that they really do need to figure out before the two of you are able to move this connection forward. So yes, that's what I have, pile three. I hope you're doing well. I'm sending you a big hug. We'll talk later. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.